Hey guys, Tom itself here, and I want to talk about Black Ops. And this is something that always bothered me with this game, that I never really dug into until today for some reason. Uh, well, partly just because I wasn't sure how to look at it, but I, I found something. I need to say I am not an audio engineer or anything like that. I just know what I hear, I know it bothers me, and I was looking for some kind of explanation. And what I found, well, it coincides with the complaint that I have fairly well. So I think I have an explanation. I don't entirely understand why. But, uh, I can at least say this is an issue for me. I really don't enjoy it and I really hope they fix it in Black Ops 2. So what am I talking about? Well, it varies from gun to gun, but in general, fully automatic gunfire sounds like nails on a chalkboard. And that it's this high-pitched whine, I can't quite pick out where it's coming from, I just know it's giving me a terrible headache, and I really do not enjoy it. So, uh, the PM63 isn't bad, but let's have a listen. Alright, there you go. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in Audacity. You've got the general waveform on the left, and then the frequency analysis on the right there. It kind of breaks things down by the pitch. Really low pitches on the left, really high pitches on the right. It pretty much covers the entire audible range. And you'll see there's kind of an odd peak in there, right about 14,000 hertz. It's not too pronounced here, but well, let's keep, let's keep going and look at some other guns. Uh, here is the Commando, one of the worst defenders. It's so bad that when uh, making YouTube videos, recording commentary, that it, when it's all the way turned down so it's going to be in the background, that that high-pitched noise still bothers me. Uh, I've gotten to where I'm just going to noise shelf all the higher frequencies out, but you know what am I going to do? So let's go ahead and have a listen. And here we are in Audacity, a fairly pronounced peak at about 14,000 hertz. And yeah, it's definitely audible. If you're not hearing, I don't know if your hearing gets bad as you get older or you listen to too much loud music, but yeah, here we go again. Now let me go ahead and try to use the equalizer to cut that out. Well, that was better, but it didn't entirely fix the problem. Hmm. So at this point you may be thinking, well, is that just normal for guns in Call of Duty to have that really annoying sound? No. Here's an example from Modern Warfare 3 with the MK46. And everything looks great, sounds fine. Um, here, have a listen. And if we hop over into Audacity, there's no crazy peaks in the high end of the spike. It is perfectly fine. Yeah, so I don't know what happened in Black Ops, but it's really annoying. The M16 was one of my favorite guns in Black Ops, but it has a serious problem with this, so... Again, I'm sorry, but have a listen. And of course, if we jump into Audacity, we'll see that again, yes, there is a very pronounced peak at about 14,000 Hz, and it's pretty loud, especially compared to everything else that's going on. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that a lot is really apparent in the reverb effect after the initial shots. So if I cut out just that part, not the uh, not the shots, but the echoing effect, you still see that peak. In fact, it's just as pronounced as before. I don't know if this means there's some kind of flanging effect. Again, I'm not an audio engineer. Where they're playing the same track over itself as that gunshot trails off and echoes and reverbs and that kind of thing is interfering with itself and causing this to happen, just know that it's really, really annoying and I do not enjoy listening to it. If I had a way to suck out, like just drop all the treble out of the game when I was playing it, I think I would do that because it would make the game experience more enjoyable. So as far as sound design, I think we can all agree, as released, Black Ops was absolutely terrible. Uh, it got a little bit better, but still, it's it's pretty bad. So, I don't know, you guys, you know, go talk to Infinity Ward, at least they didn't mess that up, or better yet, go talk to DICE, because Battlefield 3 sound is pretty damn awesome. So, yeah, um, I hope this is useful in making Black Ops 2 the best game it can be. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm going to have to find some kind of equalizer or something. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.